Happy Youth Month! In celebration of Youth Month this year, CSR Connect will be bringing you special editions of interviews with some of our young people who have won a variety of awards putting the CSR on the map. In studio today, I'm joined by Nobubele Angel Shozi, a PhD candidate who will be talking to us about being one of the winners for Tech Women USA in 2016. Welcome to the show, Nobubele. Thank you, Anna, for having me. Nobubele, how did you hear about Tech Women? I heard about Tech Women from the CSIR website. Um, there was a link that was posted on the CSIR interweb, and then I clicked on it and I read, you know, what the program is trying to achieve, and yeah, I became interested and I applied. So, what was the application process like? Was it intense? Um, okay, so you first applied, and you had like I think five or ten essay questions that you had to fill in and then you submitted um, your application then I think we had to wait like a month or so after that um, they call you up for interviews at the US Embassy um, you go for the interviews, you get there, there's a panel um, of people who are from the US State Department and also previous um, Tech Women alumni because I guess um, them being there, they know what um, they're looking for what sort of information did you have to provide? Was it around the, the lines of your work? Yeah, basically what I'm studying, if I am studying my current work, and also Tech Women is big on giving back to the community, so they want to see what are you currently doing in your community, and if you go to the program, how are you going to contribute back to your community when you come back? So what does this recognition mean for you and your career? Me being there was not only just for my career growth, it was also to ignite that flame in other aspects of my life that I didn't even think about in terms of business and even growing more um, my, my giving back to the community because I am currently involved in, in some NGO activities. I have an NGO that I've registered. I go to schools, talk to kids in terms of STEM, STEM careers. So me being there, you know, I actually got some tips and I got to learn about, you know, how can I actually make my organization succeed and also yeah, the business aspects, like what can I do when I come back to South Africa in terms of maybe getting into the tech industry and studying businesses. So tell us a little bit more about your NGO. My NGO is called Isengelo Cementos. So basically, we were focusing on mentoring. So I've been to some schools um, in Pretoria West, in Salzridge, I think Salzridge um, Secondary School. And yeah, it was a career day, and I was just involved um, in their activities, talking to the different learners. But I want to focus mostly on females um, because there is not a lot of um, girl, black girls actually um, in um, this career of ours, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. But lately I haven't been um, too involved in my NGO, helping other NGOs as well, such as Nkatuto, um, which is run by Utulile. And I'm also partnering with Ulindelo as well in terms of just doing some NGO um, activities. What prizes did you win, other than obviously going to travel, obviously, <laughs> what else did you win? Okay, so as part of Tech Women, um, we had to come up with a creative solution that we felt um, would improve the lives of South Africans. So we came up with an app called Books from Zanzi, which is like a mobile donation app so people can use the app to identify schools that maybe need reading materials, books, um, maybe educational games, just anything that will help um, the child in terms of their education. What we proposed um, actually won, and we've got seed funding from Tech Women um, to the value of $5,000. So right now we're in the process of using the funding to develop um, our mobile solution. And with the money that is going to be left over, I'm going to use that to buy books and maybe educational material. And then hopefully in July we will have a launch where we will go, we'll pick um, schools in Soweto. We've decided that Soweto will be um, our starting pilot area and as our app grows as we get maybe more funding more sponsors people using the app um, we will then maybe extend to Pretoria and other places. What did this experience teach you? Being at the States um, we didn't just stay in our own host company and for me um, that was Twitter I was hosted at Twitter we were able to also visit um, other organizations Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn even like uh, a whole lot of them 
So yeah, I just I learned a lot about the work ethic, the work culture um, at the States and also everything that I could consume while being at Twitter. Do you think that women have a role to play in science? Yeah, I think we have a big role um, to play in this field of science. It's inspiring when you go talk to kids and you know you see this light bulb going off in their heads because maybe they didn't even know about IT or computer science or anything in engineering you know if they were just sitting there thinking ah, i'm gonna be a nurse or a teacher and then you come there and you speak to them and you inspire them and you know you see the whole world um opening up what do you do in your line of work at the csr okay at the csr right now i'm at derisa which is data intensive research initiative of south africa and i'm a software developer there um, so derisa is a component that was created by the department of science and technology to focus on data services in South Africa. So right now, one of the projects um, I'm working on is called the Data Management Planning Tool, whereby we have created a tool that is used um, by researchers, or that will be used by researchers in South Africa to plan out um, their research um, process. So one of the organizations that is already using the tool is CSRR as part of the whole initiative of making research data open. They want to start using this tool and also NRF and other um, universities are interested in using the tool. What are your future plans? I just want to finish my studies. So I'm doing my PhD um, at Genisa in computer science, focusing on big data privacy and security. Focus um, on growing my career um, in the data science field because I feel that's where I enjoy it. But with aspects of privacy and security because yeah i feel i should also focus on that and then in terms of giving back growing my ngo and growing um, our books from zanzi app hopefully when we launch everything is going to go up well. thank you very much for sharing your experience with us today thank you and that's a wrap from the csr connect team thank you for watching have a lovely day